So there have been a few requests for Malawan pistol parts. Now I'm not the biggest Malawan fan out there, not really a big fan of the charge time, but Malawan pistols guys, really? Oh, never mind. So let's take a look at every part that can spawn on a non-unique or a non-legendary Malawan pistol. Non-legendary and non-unique Malawan weapons will always spawn with two different elements that you can toggle between with the click of a button. This is their unique ability in Borderlands 3. These two elements are chosen from the following, fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation, which I don't think catches anyone off guard unless you are unfamiliar with the elements in this game. Chances are you aren't though if you're watching a video about weapon parts, right? Next, we're going to take a look at the body. Now, unlike the body on every other gun in the game, the Malawan pistol body does not have any listed accessories. But if you look at a bunch of different Malawan pistols, you will see that there are three different versions of the body. The first one we'll look at here has smooth sides. This one actually increases your base damage by 10%, but it's not listed here. The second one here with these knobs will increase your fire rate by 10%. Again, not listed. And this third one here, well, it doesn't do anything obvious. It might affect the handling or the accuracy, but those formulas are a lot more complicated to figure out than the fire rate or damage formulas, so I'm not sure if it has any effect. Next, we're going to take a look at the barrels, which are going to provide the guns with their base names and base stats, and each barrel can spawn with a number of accessories that are unique to that barrel. The barrels are the Atomizer, the Blaster, the Melter, and the Alien Barrel Devourer. We'll take a look at the Atomizer first. The Atomizer has a short charge time before you can fire it but it does fire fully automatically. It does have the fastest fire rate of the non-alien barrels, but the lowest damage as a trade-off. Here's the barrel, and it can spawn with three accessories. The first accessory will give you a 25% accuracy bloom decrease and a 15% accuracy bonus. The second accessory will provide a 10% fire rate increase. And the third accessory here will give you a 10% magazine size increase. Next, we have the blaster barrel. The blaster has about the same charge time as the atomizer, but doesn't fire as fast, though it deals more damage in return. It also deals splash damage. This is the blaster barrel here, and like the atomizer, it can also have three accessories. The first is going to increase your elemental chance by 15%. Now this affects your chance to apply a dot, in case you're not aware of how this works. Next we have this accessory, which increases your elemental damage by 10%, but will decrease your damage by 15%. Just like with the elemental chance, this is referring to the dot, so this will increase your dot while decreasing your weapon's damage. Finally, we have this accessory which decreases your weapon sway by 20% and also decreases your charge duration by 20%. Now you'll see this double weapon sway time and time again on any part that reduces weapon sway. I'm pretty sure this is just a visual bug and it only applies once. Now we have the melter barrel. The melter is a semi-automatic pistol that has the longest charge time of the three non-alien barrels but you only have to deal with this long charge time if you are trying to maximize the damage of each shot. If you let it charge for the entire duration, your shots will deal double the damage. You don't have to do this and can just pull the trigger as fast as you're allowed to to get the damage listed on the gun card. And like the blaster, this one also deals splash damage. Here's what the barrel looks like. This barrel will give you a base splash damage radius of 60, and like the previous two, this one can also spawn with three accessories. The first accessory is going to decrease your charge duration by 20%. The second will increase your damage by 10%. And the final accessory will also increase your damage by 10%. The last barrel is the Devourer Barrel, which is the Alien Barrel. This one will shoot sticky projectiles that deal a tenth of the base damage of the gun. After a short time, the projectiles will explode and deal the full base damage. And this gun also deals splash damage. This is the barrel here. Unlike a lot of alien barrels in this game, this one doesn't have any listed modifiers. And this is cut off a bit by the UI, so here's a better view. Now the unfortunate thing with pistols is that in the current state of the game, you cannot get legitimate purple alien barrel pistols to drop. So while there does exist an accessory for this gun somewhere in the code, you can't actually get it because they only spawn on purples. For now, blue is the highest rarity this gun will spawn in. That'll do it for the barrels. We're going to take a look at the five grips next. The first will provide a 20% accuracy bonus and increase your fire rate by 5%. The second grip will decrease your charge time by 10% and decrease your accuracy bloom by 20%. The third grip here will decrease your recoil height by 15% and decrease your reload time by 5%. The fourth grip will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and increase your damage by 5%. Again, you can see the double weapon sway showing up where the modifiers are listed. 
Last but not least, we have this grip with a lot going on. It will provide a 30% weapon sway decrease and a 10% magazine size increase. In return, you will lose 5% of your damage and receive a 10% accuracy penalty. Next, we're going to take a look at the five hammers that you can get. The first here will provide a damage increase of 10%. Then we come to this one, which looks pretty bad. It will decrease your damage by 30%, increase your accuracy bloom by 25%, and give you a 10% accuracy penalty. This one actually doubles your projectiles, so that's why it looks so bad. Then we have this hammer, which will increase your elemental damage by 10%, which again affects your dot and not your weapon damage, and will increase your elemental chance by 15%. The fourth hammer will provide a 10% fire rate increase. And the last hammer will increase your splash damage radius by 20% and will give you a 15% accuracy bonus. Now we're going to take a look at the magazines. The magazines will determine both the magazine size, which might seem obvious, and the base reload speed. In addition, each magazine has an accessory that it can spawn with. The first magazine will have 10 rounds. Being the smallest magazine, it also gets a 10% damage increase. And another bonus of being the smallest magazine is that it has the fastest base reload speed at 1.6 seconds. This magazine's accessory will provide a recoil height reduction of 25%. The next magazine is the 14 round magazine. There is nothing here that affects the damage of this one, and the base reload speed is 2.3 seconds. This one can spawn with an accessory that increases your elemental damage by 10%. The final magazine is the 20 round magazine. For being the largest mag, this one suffers a 10% damage penalty, and the reload is set to 2.5 seconds. The accessory for this mag decreases your reload time by 10%. Next we come to the three possible scopes that you can get. The first here will increase your zoom by 1.5 times. The second will increase it by 2.2 times. And the third will increase it by 2.9 times. There is also a possibility your gun spawns without a scope. If you're having trouble keeping all of this information straight, here's a table to hopefully help you out. All of this information and more for other guns will be linked in the spreadsheet below. That's going to do it for Malawan Pistols, guys. See ya!